got here to Illinois about 15 minutes from the Grigsby going to meet Mike Stroff. He ended up taking a really good deer last night. So I know just by talking to people on Instagram and uh, you know through other social media that the deer are really moving here right now. So that's why we decided to come here. We're gonna get our license, try to get in the stand this afternoon. What part of Georgia? Columbus, Georgia. Oh, Columbus? We're about an hour and a half south of Atlanta. Atlanta. 45 right there on the Alabama line. All for good calls. <laughs> okay, it's all yours. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good nice week. Talking to you. Yep. Just riding these roads, it looks deery out here. And I've never killed a deer in Illinois. I've hunted Illinois a, a pretty good bit. Have you have you killed a deer here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. I know the weather is just right next few days are gonna be pretty cool the high today I think is 45 degrees overcast Mike killed a giant yesterday so you know the big ones are on their feet <laughs> is this a good spot to park right here I guess walking so. everybody in just pull right up like yeah. you own the place what's, what's up, up? Buddy? how are you Congratulations. Thanks, man. That was awesome. Yeah, same to you. You killed a pretty good one, too, huh? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Jared, cool. what's up? Long time. Uh, it's been a long time. Well, uh, not to rush you. Yeah. But no, I got a tree you need to get in. All right. So if y'all want to... Uh, Just unload right here? Yeah, I've the clean lady's in the house touching some stuff up. Okay. I'll get y'all in y'all's room, get your gear. We got to do some paperwork for the state okay. to make it legal to hunt here. All right. And you got your license? Uh, yes. If you want to give me that, I'll start that paperwork while you're unpacking it. No. Sorry to rush you, but we're going to kill a deer tonight. No, let's do this it. Is, this is, uh, Might as well just make it our first sit. In and out. All right. I don't really want seems you like, here. I don't like... want him here that long. <laughs> first afternoon in Illinois. It was a long day to get here from Montana. We're sitting in a, a clover field. Could be in for an interesting night. I know this is definitely going to be the best weather day we are going to have. For the rest of the trip, the rest of the week's not bad, but it's 40 degrees right now. This is prime weather to kill a big buck in.
I hit him. Dude, that's a stone. That's gonna be a giant. I think you made the right decision. But. <laughs> I was trying to. I mean, I was trying to look at him the best I could, but I just noticed he just didn't have that long He didn't. And he just, when he, when he was kind of perked up, he just looked young. He just looked young. But, I mean. Say go one more year. He has a stud. He's got kickers and stickers. That was all. We'll go see what Stroff says for tonight. Go try to make a plan, check some trail cameras, and see what we can come up with. We uh, had a really good morning, but we're going to a new spot this afternoon. bad deer that's the one he, he sent me a picture of he's on that deal Let's see him. I think we gotta shoot that deer it's pretty big keep eyes on him you think so Just stay in there. It's going to be a good week coming up. The rut is on. I think that was the 10 from that bottom because it's right there. I think yeah. That's it was. I'm good with whatever you think we want to do. See, it looks like a lot of deer are coming from that draw, so that east wind would be terrible there. You can see I made my... <laughs> that's all the stands that work on that wind, so pick one. Put your finger on <laughs> it. Uh, yeah. um, you just tell... You just, I mean, you know it better. I, don't, I couldn't make a good call right now where y'all saw the deer last night on that north end of the, the cornfield, that's, that's an option. I just know what we've seen, and I like the spot from last night. You like the spot from last mm -hmm. night? From what, I mean, we saw a shooter in there, so. And it'd be a good spot, too, if you get one out there, or even, you know, 30, 40 minutes if you hit before dark, if you hadn't seen anything, just hit the horns, see if something could come out of that 
Corn. You'll have you'll have deer in that field though. I think you're right. You'll have does and all that out there. You'll be they'll be. I think you'll see those bucks. It's just a matter of if they're on your side of the field. I think you'll see them there. Tonight. Okay, let's go try. All right, let's go get ready and go. Brian and I just climbed up in the tree. Brian looks across the field and there's a buck just running. Looks like maybe he was bumped out of his bed or something. I don't think he was because of the rut or him chasing anything. He was hightailing it out of there. Almost like maybe a coyote or something bumped him. I don't know. But I, that's, that looked like a nice buck. Yeah, he's I mean, it was hard. To, you know, he was on a dead sprint. We'll look at the footage tonight, but it looked like he was pretty nice. We're set up in here in this corner as close as we can get to it that we saw a couple of these bucks in last night. Uh, the deer that we saw last night came out of this back corner. We're up next to this WMA. A lot of these deer come from, come from back here. It's warmed up a little bit this evening, but we'll see what happens. Some of these bucks are already locked down with does. Don't you think?
Do I hit him in front? He just bedded down. He's like, I can see him. He bedded down. The shot was a little far forward, but I think he was playing good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was cussing. Okay. Whew, we're gonna call Cole Straw. I know he, I, you know, I hit him a little far forward on that shot, but we think we saw him go down. But just to make sure, we're gonna sit here and just and just kind of, you know, be a hundred percent before we go in there and get him. But I think we're gonna have us a deer. That was awesome. Man, he chasing those does right here. I thought he was gonna run out to the middle of that field, following him. Yeah. That you thought he was gonna run out there. You know, I know. I had, I almost grabbed the ground call, but he came in the standing corn and gave me a broadside shot at 33 yards. <laughs> oh, that's the same deer from last night. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure yeah. He's a pretty deer. Oh man, I he looked. He what? He looked pretty coming up over there. He old did he? He looked really pretty coming over that hill. We'll call Mike, see what we need to do. But I think we're going to have us a dead deer right there. He was bleeding really good. That's a big deer out there. Oh, yeah. He's probably 160 inch deer, probably. Look, okay, he's gonna run right over here to us. Well, we have a good night. Mike is actually gonna pull up. We're gonna let him look at the footage, try to decide what we're gonna do tonight. I think we got us a deer down in Illinois, though. I'm excited. I just ready to get hands on him. We'll uh, make a make a group decision on what to do, but awesome evening in the woods, y'all, the rut is on. We just looked at the footage and that deer, he was bleeding pretty good. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think he went probably any further than that. We didn't, never saw him stand up. If he didn't stand up, I don't, I mean, unless he just rolled into the woods, he's going to be right there. He's got to be right there. It's been right over there. an hour. Right? Yeah, it's been over an hour. So it's getting dark quick. So just hang back and just make, we'll go down there and make sure, but I'll, I'll whistle to you. If he's down I, I think I think it's going to be better than you originally thought. I think you probably cut the front of his heart, and that's why that blood was coming out of there just that hard. And he I, just he didn't know he was dead. And he went over there because he should have ran off. Yeah. He shouldn't have done that. After looking at the footage, I feel better. So let's let's go down that's there and see if he's there. I, I'm excited. Let's get a deer. He's down, my friend. Congrats. Good job, man. Thank you. Yeah, he's down. He didn't go far from where we last saw him. So. I was in like tracking mode, ready to go. <laughs> Dude, I, nothing to do. Tyler said, "Man, I twelve or he was up." Yeah, he didn't go far at all. So let's go down. I've even been down there to him. I just saw him right here, yeah, Melly. I, I saw this lane there. He's off to the side. So let's go get him. Dude, there is not ground shrinkage on this one. <laughs> no. Holy cow! Dude, that's him with the stickers on the base. Look at that. That's the dude. Holy man! Can be pictures I can show you here. Well, he stinks too. You smell that? Yeah, I do. Working in. Man, thank you. That was yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Man, I tell you, we I think this is the deer we saw yesterday. It, yeah, and you know we uh, we had a great hunt yesterday in here, and you know decided to come back and just stick it out because I think you've seen a few shooter bucks in here, oh, yeah. but this guy was he was working that edge last night where we sat tonight, and we just had that south wind and. It was perfect to get in here and, and give it a shot. Thankfully, it worked out. That's a big buck, man. Nothing wrong with that deer. Dude. <laughs> I think, I think he's a little smaller now that he shot him. That ain't nothing small about Dude, it. and I, I tell you, so, when, when he came, uh, Brian, can, <laughs> Brian, Brian doesn't get like too, too like overexcited much. But when that deer started coming over the hill, he goes, shooter, big shooter, here he comes. And uh, <laughs> some, like when the cameraman just said shooter, I just grabbed my bow. This, <laughs> we were we were 
contemplating what stand to hunt. We narrowed it down to what <laughs> five, three, two, and then I well, what's crazy? Came back around. I don't even know if the camera really got this, but I changed my mind three times, yeah. and just I think what got me back here was. Uh, it was really this deer. I mean, just seeing him last night, uh, and he was kind of looked like he was coming our way last night. Didn't work out, but he is a he's a toad. Dude, congratulations! Thank you, good man. What's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going, Mike? Good. I finally didn't shoot a management buck. What do you think? Look at those G3s. Wow. I think that's common on the Grigsby. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> you got one that's got that too. That's cool, man. I know I've told you several times, but thank you so much again. Yeah. I'm glad we could finally do it. We did. We talked about it for a couple of years. It was know. fun. Yep. Got on one and uh, got on come back one. next year. I know. I'm, I'm already looking forward to it. Hopefully we can do that. Hopefully I'll draw Iowa next year too. Be able to go from here to Iowa possibly. Make a legit road trip. Yeah. Make a big road trip out there of it. There you go. But thank you again. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it.